Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with five things you need to know in order to create a successful service-based business. I should know. I've been in business 29 years running technology company Integral. Now, in order for any service-based company to survive, there are five things that you need to know in order to ensure that you have long-lasting success. And that's important, right? Because you don't want to be in and out in business in one or two years. So here are the things that you need to know. So tip number one, your customers are always going to be right. At least they better be, because if you don't have any customers, you don't have business. Customers are the life force of your business, and you better do a good job at making sure that they're taken care of. If you hear any complaints, you need to deal with them in a timely manner. Also, you need to make sure that you've got clear and constant communication with your customer base. If there are things that need to be done, you need to sit down with them and talk to them before you actually do the service work. I know in our technology business and with technology in general, tech guys want to just go out and fix stuff. But necessarily, but that isn't always necessarily the case. You got to sit down, find out what they want to achieve and what the end goal is going to be as far as service is concerned. Do they want you to fix it? Do they want you to replace it? You have to ask your customers that question before you go out and set aside work. And also, do things that are going to make your customers feel more than a sales receipt or an invoice. Send out birthday greetings. Call or email just to see how they're doing. Develop a long-term foundation for a relationship so that you will have customers for life. So tip number two is there needs to be value behind every invoice or even sales receipt that you issue. Invoicing is great. You want to get paid when you perform a service, but at the same time, is there value? That's all your customers want to know before they pay your invoice or your sales receipt is that you provided them value. If they called you out for a specific service, you need to make sure that you deliver the goods and the service to ensure that they're happy and well thought of customers. So don't just invoice for the sake of invoicing. Make sure that you find out what their budget is first. Stay within that budget as much, much as possible. If you're not able to, you need to communicate that to your customers so that you can make sure that they are happy and to make sure that you get paid. But don't invoice for the sake of invoicing. Make sure that you are always providing value by taking care of whatever situation they called you out to take care of. And once they are nice and satisfied, then you have permission to actually invoice them. Now, tip number three would be every member of your team is a marketer for your company. That means from the person who answers the phone to the service tech or yourself that goes out and provides service. Customers need to know that you've got a consistent brand and that makes that is making sure that your customers are well taken care of, that you're listening to what the problem is and that you're prompt when they call for problems. If your team members and your workforce don't understand those critical things, then you need to move on and find team members and workforce members that understand that they're not just out to collect a paycheck, that they're out to deliver your brand and to make sure that customers understand your positive brand so that they know that you have their best interest at heart. Get your team on board and make sure that they're doing things that put your company in a positive light. Number four is one of my favorites, which is ABC. And that doesn't mean always be cobbling or always be closing. It means always be connecting. How are you connecting with other people when it comes to your business? Are you providing valuable content? Are you letting them know that you are a resource that they can come to when they need help? Ways of doing this are by sending out blog posts on a regular basis to inform them the latest changes and tips that are concerned with your industry. That also means that connecting that means connecting with customers when it comes to anniversaries and birthdays. Do not make your customers feel like a paycheck. Make them part of your company culture and let them know that you're, you care. 
Also, that goes with prospective customers, too. Is your competition reaching out to the people that are potentially wanting to use their services? If you know they're not, so that means that you need to develop those relationships and connect with people, even though they aren't contributing to the company funds. That does not mean that they won't in some point in the future. Always reach out and connect with people and make them in included in your company culture and make sure that they understand that you care about them and that you want to be able to help them solve whatever issues that they may have. And finally, make sure that you play the long game when it comes to your business. Long game means that you're setting, setting things up or planting seeds so that your company is able to endure the hardships of entrepreneurship. Are you trying to make a quick buck or are you developing and cultivating those relationships so that people are always reaching out to you and looking to you as the resource that they want to go to when it comes to their business? And with that said, if you've got comments or questions on how you can get more from your service business, leave them com in the comment section below. To know more about me, you can find me on all areas of social media, but always remember, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching this video.